clean, uh, straight 45 and there is also a 90 that comes in true cutting and you saw me using that for uh, once an me uh, just now. So this is the, uh, and there should be one in 90 as well. So this is a pediatric Blake sleeve. It's a much smaller size. It's used for uh, pediatric cases. And it also comes with both uh, zero uh, and, uh, I mean straight and 45 and there should be a 90. Now this is a nasal scissors and very good for raising uh, nasal septal clap. Uh, and actually they should have uh, other scissors as well which is the straight scissors, right and left curve that are important for uh, middle middle and prostomy. Okay, so this is uh, a, a true cutting straight leg sleeve yes. uh, without an eye. It has a better uh, grip and you can see it is tooth right here. You know, it's a, a uh, good instrument if you want to do uh, uh, cut thick tissue, very thick bony tissue, and can use this. So this is a straight blade sleeve. Now this is a mushroom forceps uh, or a circular forceps, excellent for uh, spinodotomy, and it also comes in an angle form, which is called the frontal mushroom. I call it a mushroom. This is a straight mushroom for sphenoid, and if it is angled, that is called a frontal mushroom. Again, excellent. I, I hope you will have it tomorrow for yeah, here yeah. and even for life surgery. Okay. Uh, this is a giraffe. There is only one here, but at least there are at least ten different types of giraffes. They vary in the length. Okay, some are longer. Yes. They vary in the whether they are anterior posterior biting or side biting, and then they vary in the angle. The angles are variable. So there are at least twelve different types. Okay, but unfortunately there is only one here and there's giraffes. Okay, the other great instrument is this J curate and again there should be a 90 degree. This is J but 90 is not available. Yes. Oh, no, it's not here. No, there is no 90 and because J, this is good for frontal research dissection but for certain difficult cases you need the angle to be more acute. So that is called a 90 curate and uh, again very important to have that uh, tomorrow or for life surgery. Now this is a straight curette. Um, I don't use it very much, but it can be used for uh, uh, peeling bone or um, pointing or for widening a spinodotomy, but I don't use this very much. Uh, this is called a Kuhn seeker and you see this is very fine. Again it comes in various lengths. This is a, one of the very early generations. Now they have them much longer, as long as this. And on this side you will find that is slightly curved anteriorly and that is if you have any bone chips you can remove them with this. Useful uh, instrument but again uh, I don't use it very much but it's still very useful. Particularly if you are unable to identify the frontal recess, it's very fine and very air traumatic. Uh, this is a sickle knife, um, haven't used it in years because I do all my uh, unsynectomies using a backbiter but some people use it for doing unsynectomy. And, uh, and yeah, and yeah, and it's used for other purposes like uh, orbital decompression, DCR, and for uh, even optic nerve decompressions, you can use that. <coughs> now, the endoscopes, they are, uh, the ones that we have here are uh, zero degree, and uh, in case you don't know, they are all color coded. Sometimes I find that, you know, I ask for a 70, and everybody goes, oh, where is the 70? But they are this green is zero. Okay? Yes. If you have the green color, that's zero. Red is 30. And in this case, black is 45. And the 70 has its own color, so they are all color coded. They are extremely expensive and extremely sensitive, so handle them with care. All right, each one of them, I don't know how much it costs here, but in Singapore, it costs up to about four to five thousand dollars for one scope. So that's pretty expensive. Okay, all right, so this is again uh, a calcium punctures, very useful for pituitary work, skull base work, DCR, and um, for some reason, wherever I go, uh, they only have one direction, either up or down. I don't understand why. Then when I say, for example, look at here, they're all up pointed. So when I <laughs> ask them for down, they say, why can't you do this? <laughs> now, why can't I operate standing upside down? <laughs> So there must always be up and down biting. For some reason, instrument companies, I don't know what their reason is, they don't like giving both directions, but if you are doing surgery, you want them both up and down biting. 
all right? And uh, these are uh, uh, curved suctions, and um, they also, there is, this is 3 millimeter olive suction, uh, and this is 4 millimeter. The difference between them is, this is long neck. Now the long neck I use for frontal recess work, okay? And the short neck I use for mainly for maxillary sinus work. Now this is 3 mm, this is 4 mm. Now, if you are dealing with very thick secretion, fungal mucin, lot of bleeding, 4 mm is useful because the suction is uh, more powerful. 3 mm, otherwise you use 3 mm because it's more user friendly. And they come in both short necks and long necks. So these are curved cannulas. The long curve, the straight suction that they have is uh, now one of the problems that I have in my institution at least is that they have a very small suction. Now the minimum size that, that you want to use for endoscopic surgery is size 9 and 10. Anything smaller than that is meant for ear surgery. So if you are given a size 7 suction, forget it, don't use it. It's simply not powerful enough. You know? So minimum size 9 and 10 is not labeled here, but I think this looks like a size 10. Yeah, it is 10, I think. It is FC 10. So I hope. I think so. No. They haven't written here. But anyway, most, uh, this is by Carl Stoyd, but most suctions with uh, uh, the size would be written there. So 9, 10 and 11, these are the uh, size of suctions that you want. Because there's a lot of bleeding, you use 11. Otherwise 10. Sometimes you can use a 9. So these are three suctions that you need. Uh, this is just about 32 instruments here. You can do most of the work with these instruments. Most. But when it comes to doing a situation, you might need a different instrument, you have to improvise. Now, if you are, you know, you, you can't afford everything, then I suppose this is a reasonable set of instruments to have. Uh, otherwise, I mean, there are a lot of instruments that are never ending. There are so many uh, instruments that you need, but this is the most basic set that I think you need. Uh, as for micro debriders, uh, this is a 4 millimeter uh, tri cut. And um, this four millimeter. This is the one. This is the workhorse for uh, endoscopic surgery. And uh, we also they also come in angles. Uh, this is a rag 60, uh, but it's not four millimeter. Like we should use four millimeter because they are not powerful enough. Then okay. So you give me this. I don't know what this is. Three. Two point nine. Four. Four tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, this is again same micro debrider but slightly angled. Don't use that very much. I think the ones that I use are 40, 60, red 40, red 60, um, and 4 mm tricot and a diamond bird. I hope you have a diamond bird. All right. So 3.2, uh, the 5 mm, 15 degree diamond bird. So tomorrow we'll need that in case we have to do a modified lock throw. Now this case is not good for modified lock throw. I won't be able to show that, but tomorrow I can show optical decompression, I can show DCR, I can show orbital decompression, and I can show um, pterygopalatine fossa, um, and uh, type 2B. We can go from the left hand side to the right, but uh, we won't be able to do a modified author. What we can do is maybe if the, uh, choose one of the other specimens, of some yeah, specimens we should find. Yeah. No, no, we'll have to use a dissector specimen. Otherwise, if you use a new one, I'll have to go through one hour of the section again. So we'll use one of the delegates, uh, we'll choose one, which is reasonably good, uh, and uh, we'll uh, demonstrate my by lot of on that. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. I thank think, uh, are we okay with time? Yes. All right, great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.